Welcome to Miraflores. Welcome to me. I'm going incognito as a normal person today. I'm going to visit El Centro, the throbbing heart of Lima, Peru. And if El Centro is not the throbbing heart, I will find the throbbiest part of this city. Just you wait. We are now approaching the bus station, El 28 de Julio, which is sort of like their 4th of July. But you know, Latin people don't tend to be very timely. Since of the 4th, it's the 28th. to find the right bus. That was me a few moments ago, getting off a bus. And I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. That's what getting off a bus is like. And we're here, Estacion Central. In Spanish, Estacion Central means central station. Here we are, arriving at the bus port. We have to go through security. What's up? No Estonian American mutts allowed. No, I'm being deported. Look at how central the station is. Everything is so middly, so centered. Boom. And here we are, emerging like Sandra Bullock at the end of Gravity into the real, the more throbbier part of Lima. But what you're going to see is a lot of buildings that make you think that you're in Belgium. Or uh, pick a classy European city. And then we walk. And we walk some. Until we get to the Giron. And then we're going to Gironar. It's, it's the word that means to, to Giron in Spanish. A heron is like a walkway, you'll see. These prices. Fresh seafood, 10 soles. Right now it's about like 3.7 something soles to the dollar. Whereas, you know, for that meal you might be paying 40 in Middle Florida, where I'm saying, because I'm a chump. But today I'm not a chump. I'm an aspiring non chump. This is cheaper. It's what they call Chinese food here. Well, it's not quite Chinese food. It's Chifa food. Dragon Dorado. Golden Dragon. It's sort of a mixture of Chinese food and Peruvian food. But mostly it's just Chinese food, like American Chinese food. But not like American American Chinese food. More like America's American Chinese food. Which is a lot like American American Chinese food, it turns out. Yeah, Chinese food. Good stuff. Ooh, 1590. The chief of places doesn't seem to be running more than 15 for a plate. My status as an aspiring non-chump is getting a little bit more aspirational. No, it's the opposite of what I wanted to say. It's getting less aspirational. It's becoming more realizational. That's a, that's a building, that's a building. You can tell I remember a lot from the tours I took. The Peruvian football people. We're gonna see if the main square, the Plaza de Armas, is open today. It might not be because of protests. Peru is having a moment, you know, like a lot of the world is having a moment right now. This is, this is not it, the main square is bigger. It's a city of well, like 10, 12 million people. But yeah, if you just close the square where people go to protest down preemptively, then there's no problem. You can't see it, it's not there. There's a freaking deontologist here. Ooh, politics. Ooh, football hooligans, watch out. Good speaker, this guy does Toastmasters. People are like that sometimes. People are weird. Everyone but me is. I'm the only normal person. 
Heroning now. This is the Heron. There's just one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tiles. It's a one made one. I try to take this GoPro. So gotta be careful. Stealth walk technique activated. Molina. What's the Oh. 11. Okay, we're trying to get to the good places now. I've ordered. I've ordered food. I'm gonna start with the uh, huevo ruso, a Russian egg. I got egged. In the, you see, I was in the process of deleting my egg. It wasn't even an egg, it was half an egg. Pretty yummy stuff, and then I tried some uh, picante. It's, it's quite picante, which means hot, spicy. It's quite a nice uh, like lemonade, apple juice, something. Mm. It's nice. Maybe like a pear juice, but not quite a pear juice. And whatever this is, it's steamy. Watch out, lens. You're gonna get coated in steam. You're gonna be a steamy lens. You're gonna be a steamy audience. My congelated uh, chicken stuff is. Now back to the real call of today's adventure. Heroning. Heroning on the Heron. Canadian flag. Hmm. Right, we're getting closer to the Canadian friendship rally. There's a cop following them. Maybe she wants Canadian citizenship. I wonder if she'll settle for American. She looks pretty good in those boots. Oh, I'm in a very nice building. Not a shopping center, but still a nice building. It's a nice shopping center and a nice building. It's a Weshley. Yeah, very Peruvian name, Weshley. It smells nice too, because I'm by the perfume. And here's just my B.O. Socks. Alright, I made it to the VIP level. They're bumping the real good music. Oh. Model columns. Dancing vlogger. Pat. Meow. Puma. Meow. Converse. Meow. Wow, look at that view. Look at that roof. Look at that orange jacket. They, they regretted letting me into the VIP section, so they put me into the, uh, the penalty box. The timeout area. I can just leave though, they didn't leave it guarded. Look at this, what a weird building to cram a department store into. There's some like Soviet mosaic work. And then you know, like the grand lobby. This is just the furniture section. Yeah, furniture, furniture. I'm the only normal person in the world. Right, I'm not sure where the Canadian delegation's gone off to, but that's uh, that's Wesley. Maybe at some point that was probably not a department store. That's a church. Also imported from Belgium, brick by brick. Yeah, Peruvians were rich back in the day. Let's look inside. I made it. No cell phone use permitted, but uh, I'm not using a cell phone. The woman handed me this and said, you know, donation, one soul, donation, one soul, and I tried to give it back to her, but she wouldn't take it back. Individual. Well, like, no, this is my side, this is your side, parts to the benches. Yeah. Anti-homeless design went back farther than we thought. This is the entrance. That's, uh, that's something. It's very dark, this lighting. Come on, contrast settings, help me out. We can bump it up and post. There's Jesus getting dressed, I guess. And Jesus getting undressed. I know that part of the story. Uh, I don't think I've ever read the part where they, they dress him. I think you're doing it out of order. You know, first, first you dress, then you undress. Because you're not born with dress. Just the thought of it puts me in duress. Cool. As they say in Spanish, frío. Okay, this is actually really impressive. It's not just superficial decorations, this is all like, carved, like bit by bit by bit, and wood and hand painted. Hey, Moon. Frío. Yeah, that's, that's quite the hallway. It's quite the light. 
authentic churros from, uh, from the Virgin of Carmen, which I originally read as the Virgin of Carmel, which used to be what they called me. Anyway, this way is plausibly closed. We'll find a way around. We'll be sneaky. Very cool looking street. Also police barricade, police barricade. More police barricade? We should at least be able to get adjacent to this square, somehow. That was a weird time to visit Lima. I'm the only normal person on this planet. Ah, it's the friendship delegation from Canada. There's also some rain actors doing like a Roman Testudo type thing. I want some of what they're on. Wow, they're demonstrating. Candidate. Oh, a trumpet, no drums. This is better than New Orleans. Okay. 